Frontal Lobe Disorder, Wikipedia Audio Frontal Lobe Disorder is an impairment of the frontal lobe that occurs due to disease or head trauma. The frontal lobe of the brain plays a key role in higher mental functions such as motivation, planning, social behavior, and speech production. A frontal lobe syndrome can be caused by a range of conditions including head trauma, tumors, degenerative diseases, neurosurgery, and cerebrovascular disease. Frontal lobe impairment can be detected by recognition of typical clinical signs, use of simple screening tests, and specialist neurological testing. The signs and symptoms of frontal lobe disorder can be indicated by disexecutive syndrome which consists of a number of symptoms which tend to occur together. Broadly speaking, these symptoms fall into three main categories, cognitive, emotional, or behavioral. Although many of these symptoms regularly CO occur, it is common to encounter patients who have several, but not all of these symptoms. This is one reason why some researchers are beginning to argue that disexecutive syndrome is not the best term to describe these various symptoms. The fact that many of the disexecutive syndrome symptoms can occur alone has led some researchers to suggest that the symptoms should not be labeled as a syndrome as such. Some of the latest imaging research on frontal cortex areas suggests that executive functions may be more discrete than was previously thought. Signs-slash-symptoms can be divided as follows. Signs and symptoms Emotional Behavioral Difficulty in inhibiting emotions, anger, excitement, depression, Difficulty in understanding others' points of view. Language signs The causes of frontal lobe disorders can be closed head injuries. An example of this can be from an accident, which can cause damage to the orbitofrontal cortex area of the brain. Cerebrovascular disease may cause a stroke in the frontal lobe. Tumors such as meningiomas may present with a frontal lobe syndrome. Frontal lobe impairment is also a feature of Alzheimer's disease, frontotemporal dementia, and Pick's disease. The pathogenesis of frontal lobe disorders entails various pathologies some are as follows. The frontal lobe contains the precentral gyrus and prefrontal cortex and, by some conventions, the orbitofrontal cortex. These three areas are represented in both the left and the right cerebral hemispheres. The precentral gyrus or primary motor cortex is concerned with the planning, initiation, and control of fine motor movements dorsolateral to each hemisphere. The dorsolateral part of the frontal lobe is concerned with planning, strategy formation, and other executive functions. The prefrontal cortex in the left hemisphere is involved with verbal memory while the prefrontal cortex in the right hemisphere is involved in spatial memory. The left frontal operculum region of the prefrontal cortex, or Broca's area, is responsible for expressive language, i.e. language production. The orbitofrontal cortex is concerned with response inhibition, impulse control, and social behavior. Utilization behavior, perseveration behavior, social inhibition, compulsive eating. The diagnosis of frontal lobe disorder can be divided into the following three categories. Frontal lobe disorders may be recognized through a sudden and dramatic change in a person's personality, for example with loss of social awareness, disinhibition, emotional instability, irritability, or impulsiveness. Alternatively the disorder may become apparent because of mood changes such as depression, anxiety, or apathy. Aphasia, expressive aphasia. Causes on mental state examination a person with frontal lobe damage may show speech problems, 
with reduced verbal fluency. Typically the person is lacking in insight and judgment, but does not have marked cognitive abnormalities or memory impairment. With more severe impairment there may be echolalia or mutism. Neurological examination may show primitive reflexes such as the grasp reflex. Akinesia will be present in more severe and advanced cases. A range of neuropsychological tests are available for clarifying the nature and extent of frontal lobe dysfunction. For example, concept formation and ability to shift mental sets can be measured with the Wisconsin Card Sorting Test. Planning can be assessed with the mazes subtest of the WISC. Individuals with PICS disease will show frontal cortical atrophy on MRIs. Frontal impairment due to head injuries, tumors, or cerebrovascular disease will also be apparent on brain imaging. In terms of treatment for frontal lobe disorder, general supportive care is given, also some level of supervision could be needed. The prognosis will depend on the cause of the disorder, of course. A possible complication is that individuals with severe injuries may be disabled, such that, a caregiver may be unrecognizable to the person. Another aspect of treatment of frontal lobe disorder is speech therapy. This type of therapy might help individuals with symptoms that are associated with aphasia and dysarthria. Phineas Gage, who suffered a severe frontal lobe injury in 1848, has been called a case of disexecutive syndrome. It should be noted however that Gage's psychological changes are overstated, of the symptoms listed, the only ones Gage can be said to have exhibited are anger and frustration, slight memory impairment, and difficulty in planning. Pathogenesis Anatomy and Functions Clinical History Diagnosis Treatment History Examination Further Investigation Disease Overview Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration Retrieved January 30, 2016